Hi, I'm Imtishan from Motrin Middle East, taking you on a quick walk around of the mini John Cooper Works Cooper S. That is a mouthful of a name. And it's a bit of a mouthful of a car as well. This is the most powerful production mini ever. It's got 228 horsepower, 236 foot pounds of torque. For a mini, that's really quick. And they've obviously chosen to release it on Yas Marina Circuit to give you an idea of how powerful this car is. What's it like to drive? I'll get to that in a second, but let's look at the addenda first. It's got a new front face here, as you can see. It's got unique wheels and it's got, of course, the John Cooper Works badge. Just in case you're wondering where all that money went. It's a good looking car, this Mini. I can't honestly complain about the look. I know some people have said it's too big and too fat, but I don't have a problem with it. The main thing is that it pays off on the inside where the space dividends make the car much more habitable to live with. Oh, I should point this out. This front overhang is the one coronary of the R56 generation jump because now, effectively to meet pedestrian safety, they've had to lend the nose going forward. So it does add a bit of a fat chin to the Mini. I have to admit the face takes a while to grow on you, but in person it's fine, I like it. I don't have a problem with the way this car looks. I do have problems with the way it's priced, but unfortunately they're very expensive in our region, which makes them not exactly very affordable. But then again, this isn't a luxury brand. What else on the interior? Oh, look at this. John Cooper Works badge. Checkered flag. Lots of nice materials actually on the Mini now. Sorry, you won't be able to see much in here because as a Mini it's crammed, but it's less cramped, I assure you, than before. Checker flag bezel. Checker flag. Wow, I'm really struggling for finding things to be honestly excited about. It's a nice interior and of course it's got some nice materials. All of it is so much better than it used to be before. Take my word for it. What's it like to drive? 228 horsepower, most powerful production Mini ever. Um, to be honest with you, not tremendously different from the old car, which we drove back to back with this one. I drove this car and I'm really struggling to tell the difference between the two on power. On power, they're pretty much identical. And around Yas, they feel identical. There is supposed to be a difference in the handling of the dampers. I couldn't feel it. To be honest with you, the track is not a great place for this car. It's more of a road car. On the track, it rolls a lot. It moves well under braking. I mean, it's fun, but also a bit of turbo. Like I should point out, it is a hot 40 degree night at Yas. So the turbo doesn't feel like it's doing very much. The car just feels like a very overworked four cylinder. So maybe this isn't a fair representation of what the Cooper S is like. But honestly, um, based on this presentation, I wouldn't really say the Cooper S works is worth more than the regular car. I would say that it's a fine road car though. So I think for that purpose, keep your minis on road, keep them off the track, have fun. And I think most people are gonna be happy with the regular car instead of this one. All right, well, for listen to the full review, which this was actually on motoringme.com. Thank you very much.